Kona is our future with true pleasure. What an important class. We're going live during the spirit days. Thank God. It looks like everything's good. It's working. We have to appreciate it every time we have the opportunity to come together right now over me. It was a good song. So we have to be excited for the days we are in. We are Lechtek Achra Bemidbar, as we spoke about last week in our beautiful class on being very focused on a larger picture that we have, the goals and the focus, especially we mentioned in the relationship podcast, in order to have successful relationships, there needs to be that focus, that gavoira, that restraint of the, all the noise around us, the ability to be truly present as they talk about, and Gedalia Fenster brings up the idea of being in the power of now, but he always says, what? What are you going to do with it? Yeah. So here we are, thank God, and another day in the studio after a wonderful class last night, Baruch Hashem. I just went over all the material with Jodice, Joseph, unbelievable class here in the studio with Rav Sholem Orish, our host. He was sitting right next to us. And Baruch Hashem, we have also Rav Dayan Elgar translating again and back with us in the DHC, the Daily Halakhic Corner. We're learning about how to be honoring our fellow human being. And specifically, he's been talking about Kohanim. And the good news is you have a Kohen with you right now. I am a Kohen and I have that opportunity to live in New Shalim or Kodesh. And I don't take it for granted. And I appreciate all your love and support I've had online. Thank God we're getting a lot of views and a lot of positive feedback. And it means a lot to us to be able to join you on a weekly level. And I thank Hashem that right now, even though we do have some fantastic Wi-Fi in the studio, which I was able to access last night for the first time, right now the studio people who give us access are not here. And at some point, the good news is we will be going through the whole Marechet, the whole system. And this will be like with all the graphics and you'll see one camera and, and the final edited version will come out with a live version like we do with Rav Orish. And you won't have to have this funny angle on the uh, Facebook and YouTube live. It will all go through one camera and maybe even some other cool angles. Maybe we'll have some lights and pop and crackle and all this fun stuff. I'm just being silly. But the point is that the the next level is with our class is to be able to do everything through one system. Um, right now, we thank God it's worked and it's worked successfully. And that's part of the flow. Uh, last night, for example, I wanted to have a little live Instagram for you guys on the table just to get that more like friendly energy rather than the whole system. And everything was working somewhat with the new Wi-Fi finally got in. And then I forgot to save it onto the Instagram live. So what did I do? I decided on that channel to just upload the full thing. And that's what we've done this morning. You can go check it out on all our different platforms. And it was a great class. It was very much needed for our times, unity and diversity. Today, we're going to focus on unity and truth. The truth is the focus. We need to be able to understand what our true purpose is here. So you'll be able to enjoy this world, especially being that this week we went from Shmini now to Pasha's Tazria Metzoyah, double Pasha. That's a lot of Torah learning to be done this week, please God. And you guys should join us successfully in that learning, something which you shouldn't take for granted every time. We're just making sure everything's good here. Yeah, you guys are seeing me over there. You need to give me some feedback just so I know we're all good because I don't see everything here. I'm just going to have a little look. Let's just make sure. Where is it? Yes. There we are. So you guys just need to tell me everything's good and I'll be more relaxed about the network. It's important that you're seeing me and hearing me and we're able to share this experience fully. Um, once again, we always, thank God, have our podcast that we put up on a weekly level. And I, one of the amazing things is, is that what the uh, WordPress has joined with Spotify, which is the owner of Anchor app, and it's gone onto a blog version. So we now have, as you can see in the description below, once again, I always put these in our links below and YouTube and everything else. You can see over there very easily how everything is, thank God, available for you guys to be able to access in the best way possible. So just checking everything here is good. Yeah. Okay, let's see. We have to appreciate when things work, you know, and things flow, things go with a momentum. 
Shalom. Oh, yes, we have a friend reaching out. That's brilliant. So that's what I was asking for. Now that you've given me some contact, Shalom and Bokotov. This is Joseph David Avraham, wishing you well and excited to be here. Like I said, we have three now podcasts. We have the Amun is Our Future and Relationship Flow podcast and Unity Flow podcast. And we have the links all below is now in the blog format. So you can access everything, the YouTube videos, the notes, all the stuff that's on through the blogs. And once again, we have our growing website, brezlov.co.io. We have had delay in uploading the edited version of the videos, but please go at some point soon, that will be fixed. And we have our YouTube, our growing YouTube channel, almost to 10,000 subscribers. It's up to you guys to make it grow that next level by sharing it with your friends. We have some from Colombia. Welcome. Wow, that's giving me that extra push now to get into the class today now we've had the intro and since we are in these sphere days these holy spheres of omer it's an amazing time for us to grow together that's what we yes and jodice joseph wow this guy really enjoyed it the feedback is a great inspiration as a fellow jew of his color teaching related to me and my mishpacha beautiful i hope you didn't mind me reading it out but as you did put it there in the public thing it's beautiful inspiration that is the way we need to go to really put out there a lot of unity and diversity content. And the key is that Jodice himself is going to be doing, he's going to be sitting in Yeshiva in Chappelle's and he's going to be learning. We had his Chavrusa here yesterday and we're hopefully hosting them both this Shabbos at my house. And we had the opportunity to take that inspiration that we initially get when we first come Pesach night or we come back to Judaism. We get this godless reason as their result. We've mentioned this before, this big, upliftment and this big elevation and Hashem takes us out of all our limitations and he lifts us up yeah he takes us to this place of positivity to be around the divim and all the kind generous energy and positivity and that's the kind of vibe that we get initially to inspire us to make those initial changes like happened in Mitzrayim then we have the opportunity to then work on ourselves and that's the spirit of Omar on a daily level bringing it into our daily life that inspiration and it can be hard there can be some struggles and here we have someone else oh the same our same friend it says my family has officially joined the breast of the community because of how breast was welcome us so <laughs> rabbi ellie he's saying na na nachas yeah we should only have nachas i think is that what you meant anyway the point is that we have that ability to bring it into our daily life yes with our family our friends our work our um, economical and our environmental and all the different aspects of our inner world, the soul level, we have to bring this tremendous light that came to us Seder night and Pesach and Hashem took us out of our limitations and brings us the opportunity to connect all the way till we get to Shavuos, to His Holy Torah. There's a process, a step-by-step -step, a map of how we can work on our soul. And we went from Gevoira, as we mentioned last week, that focus, that intense focus into Teferis. This is the next step. This is where we're holding now on this Rosh Chodesh Iyag, in Chodesh. It should be a blessed new month, a month of Svira. The whole month is Svira. We have the opportunity to purify. Sapir is, is the lotion of to purify, to cleanse, to cleanse our soul. As we, we say in the special prayers after we count the Svira, if you listen, look in the Siddur, the Rabbana Shalom, there's beautiful words over there. And I'm not going to say all the words, but Ayyudei Zer, that also brings, by doing that purification, a tremendous Shefa, Shefa Rav, a tremendous amount of positivity, divine, divine abundance and providence and connection. And that's the kind of life people right now, nowadays, in Corona Challenge 2021 society, that's the kind of life we want to live, a life which has purpose, has truth, has focus as we mentioned with Gavura and then once we get to that next stage of balance everyone's very into the concept of balance nowadays you hear that when people want to discuss truth they truth having true wisdom is very much at one with the yin yang of balance of that balancing out of darkness of or light balancing out your midots your character traits we have to remember the Yaakov Avinu was the epitome. We've, each time we've mentioned a different 
person who represents these divine attributes that we're connecting ourselves to. So we started off with Pesach, with Avram, the Ish Chesed, and Yitzchak, his Gevurah, he's the one who's guiding us to be strong and have, have awesome, an awesome life. And then we go into this Yachovino, this idea of this Ish Emes, this Tam, someone who's just truthful, someone who's uh, Yosheh Vaholim, he's in the tents of Torah, he's guiding himself with, with, with the wisdom that is founded, founded on, on ancient truth and universal values that everyone in the world knows is truth and cannot be undermined by even the most powerful media that there is nowadays, cannot undermine intrinsic values, even though they try hard. And they almost to the point where it's like uh, it's, gonna, it's going out of control right now, how far it's going in terms of the mysterious nefesh. We have the ability on our level to be most nefesh, to be giving of ourselves, to be self-sacrifice towards these values, towards this truth. And one of the most important ways of doing that is using our time, time management, dedicating time in our week to learning Torah. Me personally, no matter what, I wake up in the morning, just like I remember seeing my father, I mentioned this before, reading the newspaper, paper, I wake up and I learn the Chumash. I do the Pasha of that day, the diary of the day, as the Bhavich Rebbe so wisely taught. We have the opportunity and then we have Rav Orish's teachings to learn through the Garden of Muna books. Right now, personally, I'm going back to Forest Fields to work on my Spodidus. My son beautifully asked this week, Zalmi, Zishmul Zalma Mordechai asked me, what is a Spodidus? I was watching some of the Rav Orish videos, which is my dream that my kids, are, my children are, thank God, learning from these videos. And they were watching Rav Orish, Rosh Hashanah doing his avoda in Hebrew, because my son's main language in reading is in Hebrew, <coughs> his mamaloshin, even though he speaks English in the house. And he was watching this video of Rav Orish, and his beautiful video, please go, we'll try to get it up on our channels as well in English. But it's a beautiful video of him going to do a Spodidus with this Rav of Sri. And what, please God, you see over there how he does his whole avoda and how he connects in nature to, to Hashem Yisbarach, how he talks to Hashem and how he does that whole daily thought. So that's something I'm taking on myself now to try work on doing more Hispodidus and understanding it and getting clear the system. And it's been inspired by my own children. And that is one of the things our friend here wrote, Nanach, Nachas, from our children. The biggest Nachas we get is when they teach us. They, they inspire us to change. As I was saying, I've been learning a lot of with my oldest son. And over there, there's some beautiful inspiration of Svirsa Omer, of how we have the power during this time to really be elevate our whole life through understanding the godless, the greatness of Shavuos and the Kabbalah Satoria that's influencing these days, because really these all these weeks, Sheva Shabbos is Tamimos, each week is is connected to the Shabbos, and that's why we mentioned Tazriya Matsoira. It's connected to the Shabbos that we read the, the Kriya, and we have the Sheva Shabbos, these seven holy Shabboses, which we're counting each day, and it's, the Shabbos is influencing, like we say, each week has a divine emanation, so Shabbos is the pinnacle of that divine emanation, and it's influencing the whole week that was and is coming. And the Shabbos, the Sheva Shabbos, the seven Shabbos will then come together to culminate in Shavuos. And the key is to understand that, that we are constantly being influenced by this larger Olam Haba mitzvah reality of being connected to the Sibui of Hashem, of the commandments of Hashem, the Debakers, the oneness, the connection. And I'm feeling myself going off and up and up and up in how I'm talking. So let's just bring it down into daily life. So, for example, you have an opportunity wake up in the morning say Moda'ani you thank Hashem for life the gift of life and then it uh, suddenly comes into my head where a guest speaker we'd love to have here Charlie Harari we're talking to him his people he mentioned about his family from the Shoah and how they had such an appreciation and his podcast the pursuit of, of, of awesomeness as we mentioned last week he had such a joy um, hearing from his parents his grandparents about how much they appreciate just basic life to just have a normal day something we can think about how each day especially during sphere each day has its own emanation like today is um chesed shabbat ferris no coming up that'll be tonight because we're still at with combination let me just remind myself yes today would be chesed shabbat ferris so because the ferris is the is the week and the chesed the kindness is how it's emanating today and tomorrow gavura and the next day um to ferris shabbat ferris which is a very intense experience of that emanation of truth and balance and all those beautiful qualities that the first represents that's the concepts of each day but then there's also on a practical level how just having 
a healthy life, having everything we need, not being, God forbid, in a in a death camp like his his parents and somehow survived, Baruch Hashem, his grandparents, excuse me, and then all the people that went through such things and during the gulags and as you know, Lewis Howes, I think, was being recommended by Tom Billu. Tom Billu was recommending Lewis Howes about this concept of gulags and how someone there was able to to attach himself to such powerful principles of what life's about. And same with, as we know, Viktor Frankl did in the Holocaust. These kind of these moments of intensity of challenge can bring out the most intense connection to truth and to values that are life changing. So we don't want it to come from that kind of negativity. It has to come from the everyday life. That was what Charlie's point was. That from the everyday life, we should come to those higher levels of appreciation. That's the kind of energy we need to bring with us into our into our sphere days, the counting that we're doing right now. So let's get into Shabbos, the Shabbos. The Shabbos is Tazriya Matsoya. Tazriya Matsoya is all about fixing up how we speak. So we shouldn't speak Lashon Hora because if we do, there's going to be like ramifications of manifest on physical level, either on our clothing and our on our body and our home. And we then have to go through this purification process, go to the Kohen and purify ourselves. But the concept of these Pashas are to remind us that there's a Nega, Nega Saras. Nega Saras is when we take the way Hashem wants to have a divine flow through, and the way we experience it through how we express ourselves about it. He wants us to express positivity and to bring out the good of creation and the good of other people. Because in the end, there's no real purpose to talk not good about someone in the end, unless there's some painful experience going on. And then there's rules about how to do that and how to, in Ellis, in a purposeful way, have that conversation with someone. And hopefully that, you know, we should be safe from those conversations. But when we do have them, they should be done in the halakhic way, in the way that's guided, so it doesn't create negativity in the world. It's rather trying to come to a solution, a, a healing. So that's the kind of vibe that we get from Pasha Tazriya Matsura. So the nega is the same osius as oneg. Oneg is pleasure. And that's why we call this class true pleasure. To understand in this world that the nega saras, that this negative manifestation of Hashem's divine influence, that the letters are out of order, need to be restored back to Onik. And that's what Shabbos does every week. The Sheva Shabbos, these seven Shabbos that we're in during the Sphira, they have the power to bring everything back to its tikkun. That's the idea, the Nisham of Yaakov Avinu, the Nisham of Siddiquim, is to bring everything back to the way it should be. To, that's when you have a connection, say, to Rav Shalom Morish or to our Muna content. We're learning these beautiful things. Someone like Jodhisi comes back to the Torah and he sits in yeshiva. He's fixing up, and including myself as well, he's making Seder of this more chaotic potential that, you know, I know myself. I'm a more chaotic kind of person. I'm more like a, a Nisham of Tahu, as someone once called me. <laughs> it was either his insulting me or whatever, a Nisham of chaos. But then you bring it into the Tikkun. That's the idea, that we have to bring it back into a Seder, into an order. An, an order, not the new order, but an order that inspires us to come close to godliness, to become more godly. And like we said, the Seder night is a self-influencing order into our life, but like an order that's spiritual, that's, that's, that's kind and filled with godly virtues and values. And that's the kind of life we want to live a life of godliness. So this Oneg is when the letters are correct. Why? Because Oneg is the letters Ayn, Nun, Gimel. Oneg is Aden, Na, Gan. This Rav Sodek talks about this beautiful concept. Rav Sodek Akkoyin, the name of Leblin. He brings down the idea that we should bring the Shefa from above, from the divine higher levels of Aden, Gan Aden, this beautiful world of Aden, bringing it through the Na, through this river, into the Gan. So it can replenish the Gan, this divine influence. And that's really the inner aspect of Oneg. When you're experiencing this Aneg al Hashem on Shabbos, you're enjoying the Shabbos Sudas, and you're in this Aneg, you're, you're experiencing true pleasure. What it means to have the pleasure of the soul and the and the ruach, the, the spirit and the body, everything's united in that unified experience. When you eat Shabbos, yeah, it says it says that all the worlds go up, yeah, Aliyah Lomas, all the worlds have an Aliyah. So everything now becomes more spiritual, the food, the drink, the sleep, all the physical aspects of life have an Aliyah. It makes sense of everything you're doing and during the six days of the week. Now you have a seventh aspect, the seventh dimension. It gives it the purpose that like you build a house 
around me I'm sitting in a studio in New Shalim and I have uh, six dimensions around me. I have the four walls and the up and the down, the ceiling and the floor. And then I come and bring a bottle of wine, a challah, I make kiddush, I eat the challah, I make a mozi lechem in it's elevating the food. This is giving purpose to this room that I built. It's the same too with the world. You have this whole world around us and comes people of spirituality, of value, of truth. Comes a Yaakov Avinu or comes a Jodeci and they come and they make a blessing on the food. He comes to Rav Orish and he le- elevates everything that he's touching. That's the idea of of a Sadiq. He takes this world and brings it up to a higher level. And that Shabbos, everything goes up automatically. It's like a free elevation that you get every week just by tuning in to Shabbos, just by taking upon yourself Shabbos, Kodesh. That's the kind of energy that we have on a weekly level on Shabbos. And Tazria, Metzoya, we have a complete guiding light of Shabbos. When we read these parshas, it seems very long and there's a lot of laws and, you know, going out the machine, all the quarantines that go on over there and everyone's had enough of this quarantine, especially with COVID. We want to, don't want to hear any more about being locked down and being, you know, people that don't speak well. That's the, what the Torah itself guides. So you could say, oh, maybe there's a connection, whatever. But the point is, on a positive level, let's aneg Hashem. Go into the Asay Tov. Go into the Oneg. Go into the pleasure. Go into the pleasure of Torah. Go into the pleasure of being a good person, going to the pleasure of being kind and caring, going into the pleasure of living truth, of living values that are MS, that stand for eternity, going to the pleasure that exists within creation, that Hashem wants us, the creator of the world wants us to enjoy his world. He, and it, he doesn't want us to damage it, obviously. It's not, an, it's not a way of showing appreciation to damage when someone gives you a present or gives you a gift or gives you a meal to start throwing all the food around and turning the table up and making a fight and making a whole balagan and and god forbid swearing at the person who just gave you the food the the challenge is for us to say no thank you hashem like revorish teaches us thank you hashem for this world thank you hashem for the ability to this aneg to take pleasure he made it that we should enjoy food he made it that we should enjoy a connection between a man and woman that we should enjoy a connection relationships he made things clear with truth and we can enjoy being in this world and that's the kind of true pleasure that can guide us to live a life of true amuna that once we start to see now that everything we come in contact with say our challenges of money everyone right now is having more challenge of money so yakovini you saw how how much he went out of his way to make sure he would show me he was he was guarding his property to make sure but not in a way that was like crazy and ocd or trying to be controlling or pursuing money like the people think the pursuit of happiness is a pursuit of money no, it was it was a certain respect for the creation that Hashem's giving you these things, and that each thing has its purpose, its, its tachlis, its tikkun, and you take each thing that you have in the right time, in the right way, in every single scenario, and you use it to be elevated, to to lift up the experience of this world, and that's the kind of sapsa, that's the kind of mitzvah that we're involved with. That really, Rabbi Nachman and Rabbi Nossin say, look at that everything is olam haba, everything is this new world to come, everything has this new energy once you start to understand the inner root level of creation the root level has the shoirish has within it tremendous spirituality and it wouldn't exist if it wasn't that case things exist because there's tremendous spirituality and then when you have the opportunity to learn these concepts and share them thank god and to live a more elevated life you're going to go take a a cup of water after this, I'm very first, I haven't drunk anything. And you make a shah, corny and and you say how Hashem, everything Hashem made is with his with his words, and you realize that the words have value. And then you go speak to someone and you speak to your loved one and you give her encouragement, or you speak to your children and you give them encouragement and you try to control yourself like we learned last week that being able to focus ourselves and be in control of ourselves and to have awesome lifestyle, to have a life that's really awesome, that has a certain feeling of of purpose but not only that that we're not we have self-control that we do have self-control that we are able to enjoy our life and not just be pushed around by from one netflix video to another netflix video we're not we're able to just turn it off or cancel our netflix we're able to please god have use our time in this world more more valuably and realize that you know sleeping well and doing exercise and keeping balanced is the healthy lifestyle and that we can 
live a fulfilled life. That Shem's given us all the tools on a daily level to live a more happy and fulfilled life. That's the kind of a Muna lifestyle. If you go through all the Garden of Muna books, you see it's all within there. So we ask you all, being that we're now coming to the end of this class this week, how can you bring more true pleasure into your life? How can you start to see the root level? How can you start to understand how Shabbos is influencing the weak on a true level? How can you start to incorporating more true values and not letting the media dictate false values? There's so much uh, false values out there that we have to stand up strong for the true values in our life, stand up strong for the true values in the world nowadays. And it doesn't have to be, God forbid, in a way that makes arguments. It can be dach shalom. It can be in the way of peace, as we see from Ravorish all the time, he always tries to stay away from the mokhlokhases, the arguments that are going on politically and and, and uh, currently and religiously even. We have to go on the path of peace and please God bring out the good from all the people around us. And some people have gone through some painful experiences. We can have Rahmanas and mercy on them. Please God, and hopefully if they're bowed dust, they have dust, they have wisdom, and we can have mercy and we can bring the world back to the time where we understand that really that the life can be pleasurable as tony robbins i was someone who inspired me very much when i was getting into this the idea of how i could work in the world with energy and inspiration i'd go i went to tony robbins books and you start to see that he wants uh, he wants you to understand that you can enjoy life it doesn't have to be a god forbid an experience which is painful you can have passion in your work you can have passion in what you're doing and that's the kind of energy we have to bring into our daily life and into our spirit of omer as rav Arish says we have to have that will that rots and ishtokakas to really look forward to this completion of cycles that we're going through as we come to that climax Shavuot. it's not so long away but first things first what do we have coming up let's just have a little before we end off this class and we go towards shabbos after shabbos we're going to have the opportunity to host Rab Moshe Polstein, a neighbor in the area of our uh, Shruna uh, neighborhood. He is a Rav who, thank God, has a good name. And I've heard a lot of young people who have been inspired by him. We'll put up his links, please, God, once we've uh, gone through the whole uh, process of sharing Jodice Joseph's classes. And once again, you guys can reach out anytime you want to book Jodice on our network. It's available there. Um, you see the links below. Check it out. And please, God, we're hoping to do another course again for you guys, um, for United Souls. And we hope, please, God, to keep sharing these classes more and more. The other big, big news is that Moshe Weinberger Schlitter will be joining us in two weeks' time, uh, a little bit less now than two weeks, uh, two weeks, a week on Sunday. Um, so it'll be on the 25th of April. He'll be here. And we're very excited to have Moshe Weinberger on Zoom in from New York, come into our studio. We had someone kindly sponsor it, and that's an opportunity you guys can help us because we are looking to talking to Charlie Harari and Rawaiwe Jacobson, and it would be ideal if we could uh, have a sponsor and pay them for their time because they're obviously very busy and successful speakers. We'd like to also have more musicians. We mentioned Mendy Weinreb, bring back um, Yoni Gabali, bring back our friends, bring back other people. But we'd like you guys to send us some of your ideas. You can give feedback of other musicians. I know you mentioned in the past people like Yonatan Rizal and, and Aviata Bono. We'd love to have them come. Uh, Yishai Rebo, imagine having him come to the studio. But you guys will have to send us your um, connection to them. Please, God, if you have those connections, because uh, honestly, Yonatan Rizal, I've been emailing. <laughs> For like something like I'm a pretty persistent guy for like I was emailing for many years and I thank God I didn't have the merit to ever should he ran yes another person we could have lots of wonderful guests thank you for just leave the feedback below in the comments or and once the class is done in the uh, underneath the description you guys are welcome to share these classes let's make them global we want these classes a jodeci uh, class needs to go out there people need to hear it the world needs to see that we are unified in diversity in the jewish people I and mean, in this class we have unity and truth the truth is important to us we, we stand on it that i personally live my whole life by truth i personally have been guiding this path of why why am i involved with what i'm doing is because it's true it's truth and once i see any not truth i'll have to adjust to where to where the truth is and that's the whole idea that you have to be honest and truthful and constantly guide your life in a in a true way and that will give you the satadishma the divine assistance with 
uh, money things, how to maneuver yourself, how to make the right business choices, how to make the right uh, material choice, where to live, who to marry for your children, if you're already married yourself, and how to help them with that process and all the different things that life is about. Once you have truth, it's a whole different experience. And the key is to enjoy it, to have pleasure. Shem wants us to enjoy this life. And that's a very, very important aspect that goes together with everything we're doing over here so i give you all a blessing we should keep going strong and we should please go and have a beautiful shabbos kodesh kodesh this anegal hashem to enjoy everything in this world to enjoy our relationships to enjoy our family to enjoy shabbos kodesh we're already eating chalas again wow what a chalas yummy chalas to enjoy these basic things and with that that will give us the room to bring down much more divine abundance in our life because we'll be oneg the adam will be coming down through the rivers into our gan into our home into our life into our hearts into everything we're doing we'll have this connection to hashem that gives us only abundance only positivity and all the darkness will fade away and we'll be dancing please god in your shalom amen have a beautiful shabbos thanks for joining and please share on thank you